Hey guys, so a lot of people are now converting to vegetarianism once again because of a big sensation out there. You guys probably know what uh, documentary is floating around. But I want to go through some things a little bit factually on exactly what you might want to consider if you want to go that route. Uh, I do understand that some of the social conscious issues are fine. Uh, I, you're probably never going to get away from a profound amount of cognitive dissonance if you decide, okay, eating animals is not a good thing. So what's next? That's just an endless rabbit trail. But it's, uh, it's something that propels a lot of people into this uh, direction. The other thing, of course, is the health status. Some of the things that we could be ingesting because of factory farm animals, all that, I get it. It's pretty gross. Um, but is that the best thing for you? You can always find the best sources of food, that kind of thing. I want you to be aware, first of all, that if you go totally vegan, uh, you should probably get some blood work done, and if you're going to do this longer than a short acute phase, get things tested at 6 months, 12 months, because first of all, you're probably going to find, if you're like most people, that your health is not really improving that much. If you're decreasing a lot of saturated fat, then perhaps that, that might be a good change, but a lot of times the trade for more carbs or fat and getting rid of some protein is at best an equal trade in lipid profile and so forth. Uh, I do think if you get beyond that acute phase of under a year, you're going to start feeling pretty low energy. You could see some other effects in terms of strength, lean body mass, even libido. Uh, it's just a fact that we have evolved eating animal protein. So you're not going to change uh, you know, a couple hundred thousand years or maybe even a million or two million years of that just with one decision to all of a sudden not eat animal protein. It's it's just going to be something that I think you're going to have to find out for yourself, but that's fine. Um, do all the careful blood work, do those kind of things. Please stay away from fake meat. When you get into all of the, the fake veggie burger type things and all that, it's probably less healthy than even other processed foods like Doritos and so forth. So just, just stay away from those things. And if you want to do yourself a favor and at least get um, a lacto-ovo perspective, so you can maybe have some egg whites things like cheese, protein powder still, that's going to give you a huge advantage if you go down the vegetarian route. But again, socially conscious uh, decisions will be weighed on you know what kind of animal cruelty issues and so forth that you might uh, jive with. So uh, one last thing that I would say is just make sure that you really do monitor as much as you can, not only with the blood chemistry profile, but journaling things, maybe how you feel, what, how you're doing in the gym, that kind of thing, because it, it really will have an impact over time. And I do truly understand both sides of the story, and I think it's something worth uh, pursuing, at least objectively, to see if it might be right for you. Um, so give it a shot and let me know what happens.